there are two or three reasons why any child of God dies. Number one is carelessness. God does not cover for carelessness. God, there is no cover. He says carelessness kills. Carelessness means being in God's hand and not being careful to walk in the right path. Right path. Right way. Are you hearing me now? Ask my wife. There is a kind of cold water she drinks. I tell her if you do that again, I don't say that I will do something you will not like. You can't keep drinking a kind of cold water at a level. Anything a little bit chilled than this is okay. No matter how fast you are. Because the more you take cold water, you are killing some organs in your body. Take it or leave it. So you can't keep taking cold water, cold water. Let me be sincere with you. Even as a man, you can't perform with cold water. So why is that in performance? Because you are killing an ability in you. That's the way things are continuing. Some people, when they eat... Uh, what do you call it? Nsala soup with catfish they take it down with cold coke you know what you do those cholesterol go to your nerves and then hammer come you know what happens when you cook oil food then it, it, it sleeps it is that sleeping that is called cancer that is called the arthritis your bones you don't know what is happening it is cold water let me even give you this therapy if you can try this as a man or any woman every morning you wake up Take a strong warm water. Do it for three weeks. You'll be shocked what will happen to you. You'll know that you were not one sick. All the sickness in your body is your carelessness. And heaven does not cover for carelessness. You see this, you have for the owner. It's not an investment. It's debt. Anybody who is used to alcohol here, let me be very sincere with you. God is not saying that alcohol is sin. It's a sin against you, not against God. Do you know why? There is a point of your life you get sick and they inject you. You will not be able to bind with your body. Because alcoholic damage has damaged certain things. And you have a very close range with liver cancer and then kidney problem and diabetes with drinking. So why will you be burying yourself like this every evening? Some of the prayers we pray are not necessary. So you can be a Christian and still choose to be a drunk. And I may not have influence over you, but you have choose death. And let me tell you, if you die under me as an alcoholic, God didn't kill you, you killed yourself. Therefore, I didn't bury any member. It's as simple as that. You didn't hear what I said. You can't be trading the path of death and you are, uh, you are confessing life. What makes life confession to work? That you are confessing life and walking the path of life. There is a path called the path of life. It's an attitude. It's a character. Like Bishop Abala said in camp, he said, death is not an event, it's a process. It is the end of a process that was started, whether it's accident or incident. There was something you were doing that was pulling death around you until you die. That's why a man that dead is looking for how to kill. A car can have accident, 12 people in the car, only one person die. It is the end of his own process. The 11 people were not the ones they were looking for. Did you understand what I'm saying now? So, carelessness is the number one killer of a Christian. Stop eating catfish. I do that once in a while. And if I must eat catfish, I remove that back to eat only the fish within. As simple as that. Meat. Meat is not a sign of prosperity. There are some people, if their, their wife don't bring meat like this, they're looking like, 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 and they think it's an insult. Let your wife keep bringing that kind of food. You will die on time. No, 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 no. Go and study. You know the shocking thing? You know the shocking thing? Every food God said you did not, you should not eat in the Bible. I thought it was a sin. It was like sinning against God. Medically speaking, all those food have health consequences. You know there are people that eat blood. They call it in Wongo. Very sweet. But Bible says that the life of an animal is in the blood. He that eateth blood, I will cut him out of life. You know what that means? As sweet as Wongo is, if you keep eating, you will die. You can't eat blood. It's not about God. It's about life and consequent to your body. The best food you should consume is vegetables and fruits. How can you? You are just, you are just 21. You are looking for it. There was a time we thought this was an investment. After a while, we noticed it's wrong. No, you can't be an athlete with that thing. Hey. Did you learn something? Say with me, God does not cover carelessness. 
you can't be jumping from one gear to another gear, 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 and you are not exposed to the danger of STI. So sex is not the problem for God, the problem that you will contact. And when you contact, you will come to the altar for another grace. But God is not going to cover for carelessness. You, did you understand me now? Most of the things people preach are sin. I just laugh at them. Those laws are not existing. Everything God calls sin are things against your body. It may shock you to know there is only one sin against God. But I will not talk about it. Only one. Only one sin against God. Every other sin is sin against you. And because he loves you, he will put it as a law. Thou shalt not. So that you will survive here. Are we together? No, 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 no. no. How could all your friends be cultists? You are calling for death. The day death will come, they will, it will carry you and him. God doesn't cover carelessness. So that one for another day. The second reason why people die. This is, I'm talking about not why people, why Christians die. Why Christians die? Anytime you see a Christian that dies untimely, like the guy I showed you last Sunday, of course you know he didn't die. He didn't die. He was translated. Translation means that they took you a transformation in state. He was carried from this realm to another realm. That's why he said, I'm still alive. You heard him say it. We played it in church. The man said, I'm still alive. I have gone to where is better than where I am. Don't wake me up. He said, The morning I will wake up, I'll prostrate before Jesus. He said, I'm, oh, that video is the best video that will happen to any Christian. Please go and get it. Look for it. He said, what the guy was saying is that, even though you people see me and I'm still talking, but I've, I've gone there. But my body will now prove that I've gone there. I've been going there and coming. He said, but now I've entered my rest. He said, a new thing has happened to your pastor. Believers don't die. Can I shock you? We check out. He said, mark the perfect man. His end shall be peace. You know what that means? The day I will die, I will tell my brothers, I will tell my family. The father of Pastor Chris, Ahilome, said to his children that in the next two weeks, in two weeks' time, that there are going to be a lot of visitors coming to my house. He was telling his sons. He gathered his sons. He said, by two weeks' time, a lot of visitors will be coming to my house, but none of them will ask for wine or food. They will only be asking for water. A lot of them are going to come. So he said, prepare for them. So they didn't understand what he was saying. Two weeks later, exactly, he went to be with the Lord. And people were saying, oh, pastor, oh, pastor, oh, sorry. And somebody said, please, can you give me water? It clicked in their mind. An elder has gone home. And that was, I said, do you know what death is? They said, they don't understand. He said, take this juice with me, and tonight we will be together in heaven. If you want to die, let's drink this juice together. He opened the juice and poured it out. And said, hey, pastor, he called one of his president and said, that project I started, I won't be able to finish. You are the one that will continue that one. The other one, you finish it. He said, because I have done something and I'm going to rest. So I want to show what that looks like. He took the, the juice and stayed on his chair and started smiling. They took him home. Hey. That's how elders die. We don't die young. We don't die old. We exit when we are done. So when you are gone, it means you will be done. So there is no longevity in God or short life. No, Jesus died at 33. But he lives on. His life is more powerful than the one who lived 900 and something years. There is no long life. There is no short life. If I finish my course, what am I here for? He said there is late for me. A, there is something better that is late for me. A crown. So if I get 40 and I'm done, I announce, sons, I'm done. Continue. No child of God dies. Is I'm telling you the truth. It's a seal of certainty. If you meet any pastor that dies in accident, dies by plane crash, dies by anyhow, go and ask question. When my Monroe died, there was this controversy chill in the church because he was a figure, global figure. So people were like, hey, how can a man of God die? I said, he didn't die. Go and check where. Go and check where. I saw his video when he was 25. You know what he said? He said, I won't be here too long. I don't have enough time. He said, all my friends will outlive me. That, that's why I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. I want to finish my assignment very fast. 
the Lord has revealed to me that I will not live a long life. I won't stay too long here. I will finish swear. Well, you know the one that will shock you? The last video he did the day he died. He said, I am going to that conference to just hand over the button. Oh. I'm go and just go and browse it. I heard it online. It, the conference was about passing it on. Passing it, say he has done. He wrote a book, Passing It On. That's the last book he wrote. I have finished. I am exhausted. Can you wait the button over? The Lord took him. He said, Glorious are the death of the righteous. Any believer here? Don't be afraid of death if you are in the calling. I say you can't meet it. He can't meet you. Can I shock you? Death is not an, a, a happenstance. Death is a person. And can I shock you? He said, whether it's life or death, all things are yours. That means that death is my servant. If I don't like it, I will send him to you. Is that same? If I don't like it, if your face gets me angry, I'll go and tell that. Go and, visit, go and greet him this morning. Christians don't die. Have I told you the second reason? Is this second reason? What's the second one? The second reason Christians die, I'm looking for a way to give it to you, is called isolation. Anytime, do you know that one of the characteristics of mortuary is calmness. Have you noticed it? If you walk into mortuary, even Boromi Hospital now, Boromi Hospital is one of the largest hospitals, is a mission hospital, is that? Very busy hospital. Tell me any FMC, tell me any whatever. There is supposed to be noise because of the number of people who are passing in cars are parking. But I just beg you after service, just go and try what I'm saying. Go to their mortuary session. The moment you cross a particular place, a calmness comes on your bones. It's like every step you take is being measured. If you go to the mortuary, there is this chill. Anywhere death is, there is calmness. Can I say something? Anytime somebody around you starts being too isolated, start going in, start living in himself. You may call it reflection. You may call it, I want to be alone. He's dying. Check out for that person immediately. You notice you're always on status. Every time you go on status, you see his Facebook status, WhatsApp status, this one status. But you notice that he doesn't come online again. He comes once in a long while. And he'll just talk something that does not make sense and walk away. Check that person. Two weeks later, three weeks, he will die. I'm telling you a mystery you don't understand, but it's a mystery. Can I shock you? And the ball is in the front. And the people are here. The first thing is to remove the ball. You are isolating the ball from hindrances. There. Anytime a child of God come, start avoiding other believers. Stops coming to church. Bro, what is happening? I don't know. I just want to be on my own. out. The moment he comes out, there. He said, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Can I shock you? Shock me, sir. Lion is not the strongest animal in the jungle. Quote me anywhere. Bulls are stronger than lion. But lion are strategic. So how they do is that they put fear on you. And isolate you from a company. Then you become vulnerable. They will go after you isolation sit down isolation that's why it doesn't matter the system he used to start isolating you be careful be careful sometimes it's an ideology just start thinking away Satan just come into your hands are you sure you are you are not wasting your time can i shock you can you miss here you want to hear this you want to hear this how you know i call it a system how did the devil almost catch up with jesus he took him to the mountain and began to show him the beauties of this life. Show him the mansion. Satan can't talk to you until he shows you your friends. You hear what I said? The secondary school student that is driving Benz and is just 18 years is the first person he will show you. Then he will now show you your brother that is doing Yahoo, Yahoo. Then you are calling the name of Jesus. 
and the guy is almost building in Lekki. The moment the picture gets clear, you start isolating yourself. Pastor is now talking, you're no more in church. In, in your mind, they are washing me. Believe me, if you buy that idea, you will die. You know why? You know why? Let me convince you the system. Before you came to Christ, those people were there, but it didn't make sense to you. It didn't make sense. It didn't come to your consciousness. But Satan used this as a trap to isolate you. Let me be sincere with you. Anytime you start going to church and people start offending you, ushers offend you, pastor offend you, somebody says something, they are prizing your life in the coven of death. If I were you, he said, when the spirit of the ruler goes against you, he says, see that you don't leave your place. Stay. Because they are prizing you. Jesus told Peter, the devil have desired to sift you like corn. It's a desire. He had desired to, you know how they sift corn? Onesia, you are come. Actually, you are so if the matter come on you, everything will be falling against you at the same time. But if you're a wise man, stay in your place. Do you know why? If you stand still, you will still stand. I say if you are able, if you have ability to stand still, you will still stand. No, 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 no. Tell the devil, don't say that rubbish to me. It was at that point Jesus looked at the glory of this world. He almost fell. He said, hey, Satan. You know the thing, bow before me. He said, I can't. The other one, he said, get behind me. The other one, he said, get behind me. When he came to that point, he said, Satan, out! You don't have such right. When he come to, you want me to worship you? You know the key is worship you. Our guys, are, young people are worshiping idol now. Worshiping a one more million. No, 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 no. Man, how old have you been in Christ? Have you been a Christian for long? Yes, yes, yes. Sir. Like how many years? Since I was very young. Since you were very young. Now, you remember that 10 years ago, 15 years ago, they were talking about these days in churches. It has not become real. They were talking about a generation of people that were bound to this, bound to that, bound to that, bound to that. It was just a theory in the mind. Now, we are seeing the practical. Those of you who have been new to church will not understand this because society integrates idolatry as a culture. So, you don't understand the deep we that understand Christianity, I was trained under Pastor W.F. Kumuyi. I understand Bible. You can't mess up my mind. I know what is going on. People are kissing the altar of Baal for money. It was this thing the three Hebrew children say, saw and said, if God cannot give us money, let him not be God. Is enough. God. If God cannot save us from this fire, God, stay in heaven. But you see, Nebuchadnezzar will not bow. I rather die a broke guy than have all the wealth of this world. Do you know the price of a soul? Let me explain that scripture. Where the Bible says, what shall you give in an exchange of your soul? Let me explain soul for you. See this, my bangle. It's expensive. I bought it. But this wristwatch, I also bought it. The value of this watch is higher than this. And the value is measured in terms of money. Somebody gave his car key to God this morning. That means he has, he has hated his car. For Christ's sake. This car is priced more than this, this stuff. This one is costly. But by value. Someone say value. So what is the measure of value? I'm asking you. Huh? Stand up. I want to kill you. I want to kill you. I want to see what suicide bomber does. These Muslim guys. I'm going to give you bomb. Go and kill this. But I'm going to pay your family for the life you never lived. How much is your pay? No, 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 no. Be just let's claim. Give me a bill. Can I that you have to say something? Anybody here? I come and teach you like kidney, huh? Yes. It's very important. Yes. How much? Five million, ten million. No, it's talking about kidney. It's talking about kidney. It's talking about kidney. If you give me ten million, according to him. Now, I want to take your life. The life you will never live. Calculate your secondary school, primary school, university, and everything you will, will have been. The help you would have rendered. Kill your life for a cost. I will pay you. And we are paying that money not to you now because you are dead. We are giving it to your family for a sorry for taking his life. Give me the bill. 10 billion. Even a billion is worth it. 2 billion. But depend on how sweet your life day. Go if you say 10 billion. Now, do you know why? 10 billion can buy a whole estate. Hello? Come on, give me attention. 
10 billion can buy a real estate. But in the real sense, even though you are sold for 10 billion, will you be in pain that you will die? No. Hold on. They pay you 10 billion, you will be happy you will die. You will not eat the money. Have you ever seen your, hold on, have you ever seen your friends, you beg them for money, they say they will not give you. Ask you, if I'm male, when they go. Have you ever heard something like that? That even their blood brothers can't eat their money. They are so, they are so mean. They are so mean. You wonder they can't even give that money to their mom. And then you ask them, ask them if I'm with go. Oh, you know his private part. And you don't know. So it makes him mean, as small as private part. Now I'm talking about your life. You will look at all your brothers, all of you, all of you are stupid people. I'm only giving this money just because. Is it true? Now, I'm not asking. If 10 billion can buy a land, buy acres and build other things, that 10 billion is actually the price for your soul. And can I shock you? Write it down. You have heard about the mark of the beast. Have you heard about that mark? And that mark, they say, whoever receives that mark will never, ever ever have opportunity to give his life to Christ again. He has been condemned to death forever. Are you aware? Let me shock you. All these guys that devil is giving money to will never have a chance for heaven again. They have sold their soul to the devil. That's the idea of Illuminati. That's why if you enter Illuminati now, anything you want for money, they'll give it to you because you are enjoying your heaven here. You know Pop Daddy? You know Pop Daddy? I don't want to call his name. You know our pop daddy. Before that guy died, you're Michael Jackson. Every time you catch him, he's in isolation. He cries. He keeps telling the media, my life was taken from me. He keeps saying that. He lived an isolated life. People were celebrating him, but he lived in darkness. His liberty, his childhood, everything about him was sold. And he keeps asking for a life. Can you give me a life outside this life? They said, no, you have been bought. What shall you give in an exchange for your soul? Thank God, I like when Keken Naba, Nlo Naba, and La Lola. If you see when I woke up this morning, go shock you as a pastor. I woke up by after six. No time to open Bible, and I even woke up and thought today was Monday. <laughs> Say good life. good life. He said he giveth his beloved sleep. <laughs> I'm not owing anybody. Nobody's owing me. My life is free and sweet. Even those ones that are owing me, if you know one, don't pay. I will be alive. The best gift of life is life. He said there is, there is to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. So why won't I be happy? Oluwa, bless my Aza. Go and ask the people who actually got money by devil the price they pay. And they know when they will die. When a guy knows he will die on time, he will, he, that's why I want to buy a car, buy everything, buy everything at once. So that by the time life is exhausted. Some of them don't even know when the time is. So they are just doing it fast, 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 fast. Somebody asked for money and they brought a chicken. We are going to give you money. But they took corn and poured on the floor and told the chicken to pick. It was a demonic chicken. He said, watch, the number of corn it picks will be the only life you will spend on earth. And they say, can we go? He say, yes. <sighs> Let me shock you. See this money you are crying for. In the next 15 years, if you have lens, if you can have the lens, he say, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Yeah. This money you are looking for, there will be a time you will be the distributor. Yeah. But you know, the key is be patient. Anything God does takes process. If it's not process, yeah. you will not see success. Yeah. 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 My friend, take it easy. You are too young to have this hunger. Do you know how old I am? I'm not joking. Do you know how old I am? Everything is patience in God. Take it easy. Don't die yet. Just change your diet. Change what you feed on. Change who you look at. So, anytime someone begins to become isolated, isolated from life, isolated from people, isolated from fellowship, isolated from kingdom people, out of church, watch next. I'm okay, okay, okay. Let's go practical. How many of you can picture anybody around you that died like that? Anybody here? A friend of yours, he stopped talking, stopped communicating, 
You people go to bar. He used to be the one talking. Now he's always quiet and sober. Anybody can just take a picture now. Take it, just browse, peruse, you will see. Sometimes it's your brother. Mommy will say, just for some time, oh, every time he will stay inside the room alone. He will stay there for two days. I didn't know something was going to happen. Every time he's always thinking, they are prizing him in the coven of death. Beware. Nagente. Anytime I don't go now, he will always be there, there, there. Say, my only way inside the body of Christ. My, that I will not die. I will not die. I will not die. I will not die. Yes, <laughs> I'm not joking, no. You know, I'm an elder. Yes, sir. In spiritual matters. That's why I'm telling you how. These are things we sat down to study. I have a friend. It's a very close story. In fact, this lady, my friend introduced her to me in case I would like to marry her. Very powerful girl. She works in oil company. Wonderful lady. They were supposed to marry, but they've been a long in relationship. The girl was saying nothing. This guy wants to marry. The girl will just keep posting. I'm not sure what my friends will say. You don't have the class. But I love you. So just let's just be hanging around for nothing. Let's be hanging around. You know, women, the most confused people you see. Who are we? Girls. What do we want? I don't know. That's, that's the typical character of a woman. Who are we? Girls. They are always around. They are always around. What do you want? Even me, I don't know. That's a woman. A woman likes to hang around somebody they like. Will you marry me? Hold on, I'm coming. That you do. You know the women are not straight. They can never wear something straight. If a woman wears something, I watch twist. It will have to stay like this. Their life waggle and waggle. It's not their problem. It's their fault. Iwe Can I? Can I hear an amen? A woman would never walk like this. No. She will walk. That's, that's how the work will be going. For her to be a woman, the thing gives them joy. Amen. Amen. You will never, I'm talking about a total woman. A woman will never keep her hand like that. Oh, no, no. <laughs> the thing, if it's not, if it's not doing like this, she's not a woman. But anyway, can I talk to you? Don't change it though. Is what we are looking for in you. Because we are too, I want to too straight. She never came like your former. Never go see what you are my straight. Why? A man is sentinel. You know what is sentinel? <laughs> your nash is inside. If you measure it, it's the same size with your back. But God came to make a woman. Started here, moved here. Came back. If you, are you seeing it now? Have you ever seen Bali? You know it's women that used to do ballet. They are describing their nature. So God now came to this place. He said, mm. "What?" And he came back to what he was doing. It, we thought he was confused. He went, "Wow, way," and came back. And now the pyong. <laughs> that thing. That thing is called feminism, not femininity. Feminism. Don't lose it as a girl. That tiny voice you have. If you can come see other. All that voice can't change. Because stop it. I will, the day my wife become a man. Ocha. Her finger. It's not even a baba. God made their own somehow. Hey! This God is too much. But you know what? Listen to me. Listen to me. The extremity of this thing I said is why you will not last. Don't take it too far. Don't take it too far. Leave it at where God left it. Leave it where God left it. The natural, don't, don't add. You are better like this. True. So there's a problem with ladies. So this girl kept hanging around my friend. Nah, I love you. I love you. I, no, a, a, a woman tell her I love you too. It's on the marriage, she'll say I love you too. If you tell a girl I love you, say, oh, I think I love you too. I think she will never, she will never love you. Oh, I love you. She'll say, okay. It's, wait, wait. Okay. Are there men in my shoe? 
my wife suffered me i'll tell you the truth while we are trying to baby i love you okay see jesus what is this what is, what is this what kind what kind of woman being is this so when we now finally married she will not tell me baby now i love you i say i'm thinking about it <laughs> One day, one day we are in the room, she said, babe, do you really believe I love you? I said, no, I'm still thinking. Because you thought my own. So me, I'm thinking. I'm not sure yet. Are you enjoying church this morning? So my friend did everything to get married to this girl and it will not work. The girl still loved the guy. This guy still loved the girl. So he went ahead and married. And then, because of the bond my friend brought me to see whether i like the girl for marriage so i was tumbum 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 i'll turn it like this one of the things that i checked is um she's working in all your company they will not say she's the one that made me rich hey no no i can't take it as a man another one okay 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 it's even good to be chopping her money but she's in lagos so will i leave my ministry from my back Hey, Jehovah. So after the whole tombon, 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 I just told myself, Philip, you don't know what you want. Get out of that place. Because, anyway, let me not tell you some secret. Amen. So now, the lady told me particularly, you see this pastor, you see this person, I don't like him, I don't like this one, I don't like that one. And I, and I noticed that she was offended. And her offense extended from her, from him, to me, and from me to other pastors, from other pastors to other friends. So now, usually when she gets sick, she calls. Hello, I am sick, pray for me. She stopped calling. You know, anytime, let me be sincere with you. If a pastor hurts you, it's not God that hurts you. Separate them, they also man, they fell into that issue. But if a pastor hurts a person, yeah, that's the natural character of people. They will generalize it to all the Christians and church. That means it was church Satan was aiming at when he used the pastor to fight you. Be smart. Just be smart. My leaders have offended me in the faith. I told you how my pastor slapped me for going for a program that he trained me for. That was enough to make me I'm not going again. I'm tired. But I didn't give up. So now she generalized it to church people, church things and the rest of that. And I noticed that including me that was, I came in as her friend, she can't take my call, she can't take the other person's call, she can't take this person's call, she just went withdrawn. She went isolated. So last three weeks, she just posted, I'm having a serious pain, oh, people pray for me. Not knowing who to talk to. Last week, we were driving to so -so -so. we saw on the status, she has gone. This is a lady that can give his father 10 million naira. She works in oil company. Give the father 10 million. The man will give, him, give her back. As of now, I'm sure she has close to 50 M. Less than 30 years. Beauty from toe to the, to the top. What did the devil use? Isolated her from the company that will help her. Using a system called offense. And then she became vulnerable. You know the one that will shock you? Do you know what killed her? Do you know what killed her? Appendix. Have you ever had appendix kill somebody? Appendix don't kill. It's just like somebody saying that Hymea killed him. What does not kill? Kill the believer. Why? The devil has systematically isolated her from fellowship of the brethren. Don't die now. You are too young for that death. And the third reason Christians die the third reason is working against the covenant. The third reason Christians die is when they walk against the covenant of God. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I have to say this again and again and again and again. So that you can be taught and held responsible. You know why? He said, my people perish because they lack knowledge so something can be killing you until that is investigated and researched to be able to find the reason behind the death why do believers die when the devil knows he cannot get at you he's very sure he can't get at you 
because you are in Christ. He will come inside your life of the Christian fold and use it against you. Listen. Jesus said, for this cause many are sick, some are weak, some die. When a Christian begins to live against the covenant, one of the ways is abusive life against the church. Speaking against pastors. Or having quarrels and murmuring within the church with a fellow believer. Stand up, daughter. Stand up. You see this guy? What's your name, sir? Linus. It's only me that knows his Linus and the parents. When God sees Linus, because he has submitted himself to the leadership called Christ, Linus is Christ. What's your name? Eh? Tonna is Christ. And then this is Christ. When we eat the word of God, we break bread, we understand this, we lift up holy hands together, and then we keep offending the covenant. This guy is angry with this girl. Why did she look at me like that? It's not a problem. The Bible says offense must come. But he said, don't allow the son to go down on that your anger. If you people have any issue, the Bible says, go among yourself and settle it. But that this now move from normal anger to a cancer. That you now start backbiting Tona before people. A guy that should have married Tona has been poisoned because of what you told and then the opportunity that God would have brought to this girl has been withdrawn because of you. If this girl cries, Lord, why am I not married? Lord, every guy that comes to me always turns back. Not knowing that some people are poisoning her. God feels angry that somebody is hurting Christ. There's a scripture. Please look for that scripture. It says, for whom? Just type that word. For whom Christ died. Anytime you hear such language, that for these people, for these people, Christ died. Jesus died for the church that he may sanctify us. So anytime there is an abuse on this girl that is a child of God, by a fellow child of God, God will give you people time to settle your differences. If you refuse to settle that difference and keep going in offense, in offense, it will convert from anger to cancer. And the only satisfactory way to cure cancer is to cut it off. Did you understand what I'm saying now? Sit down. How did the devil kill the children of Israel? Anti-covenant practice. They murmured against God. Murmured against Moses. And they began to sleep with the Moabites. Inviting strange spirits into the camp. And God was not comfortable with them. Do you know that the Bible says that friendship with the world is an enmity with God. You know what it means? You can't keep being a Christian and your pallies are G-boys. True. He said, wherefore, come out from among them and be separate and touch not on clean thing. There are some Christians that are into masturbation as a lifestyle. There are some Christians that, if you hear Christians, sometimes you are shocked. Your friends are saying, do you know, there's what they call threesome, there's what they call foursome, there's what they call, and then you give your ear. You know what you are? You are defiling the covenant that makes you a Christian. It's a defile. I'm not saying that we don't have such weaknesses, so, but God understands when it is a weakness. And when it is disobedience in God. He said, come out from among them. And be separate, saith the Lord, and touch not on clean things. Then I will receive you. Look at the promise in verse 18. Is that in verse 18? He said, I will be a father unto you, and you will be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord God. In, in answer, be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. So the moment you give your life to Christ, one of the things to do is to separate and join your family. Join your family. Now watch this. I send you as a lamb among the among the is in your Bible as a lamb among the what wolves. So there are two families on earth: the wolf family and the lamb family. And guess what? Wolves eat lambs. The moment you give your life to Christ, move out from the wolf family and get back to Christ. Any help an unbeliever wants to give you at the detriment of Christianity is not worth it. 
That's why you hear them say, if you stop going to church, we'll help you. That means they don't love you. Come out and join your family as lamb. Now, I used to get angry with God. How could you make us lamb? And yet, send us to wolves. He said, no, you didn't read it well. I gave you a divine makeup. I said, what is that? He said, be as wise as serpent and clever as dove. You know what God told me? He said that wisdom is stronger than the weapons of war. So I have given you what is stronger than their weapons, which is wisdom. Wisdom. Every child of God must work in wisdom. Are we together now? Anytime you start living against the covenant. Listen, nothing kills faster as discussing a Christian in church. Nothing, I said nothing. When you see that bitterness coming from the belly, when the person is talking, her eyes dilate, her countenance changes and frown. That person has been contaminated. One of the things I do every time is to shed myself off weight. I shed myself off weight. You know what is weight? He said that we should be able to remove the weight and the sin that easily beset us. Sometimes I do a check. Who is making me angry? What is getting me bitter? I pull it off. I can be light. Don't work against covenant. When you are always angry and bitter on people, you know what you did? You are allowing debt to pay rent on your head for free. The person you are angry about is not even aware. He's eating food and enjoying his life. So why do you lock him up? Release your prisoners of hope and walk in love. Can I shock you? The strongest walk in God is walking in love. He said that there are seven dimensions of, to that. But the deepest dimension of God is the dimension of love. You can't walk in love and you are broke. You can't walk in love you don't see protection. You can't walk in love. That's why disease from anger, disease from backbiting, disease from sitting with people who are always bitter in church. When people get bitter, try to help them. When you know that this heart has gone beyond the heart, it's a cancer. Please move back. Let me show you how the Bible is explaining. Galatians chapter 6 verse 1. Let me show you. He said, dare any of you. Give me that scripture. Galatians chapter 6 verse 1. That's how it's done. Because in church like this, we are growing. Satan is going to rise. He has even risen before. He will rise again. But I'm showing you the technology. And when he rises, why you should know this now? When you see the devil in a brother, you need to come around and pray for him. Lord, not him. Not him. Then we put our effort. But if all our effort will not work, what the Bible says, they move back. He said, brethren, if any one of you is overtaken in fault, say overtaken. Say overtaken. Will you ever use the word overtaken if there was no speed? Hello? A car that is parked, do you use to overtake it? No. It has to be on motion for it to be overtaken. That means that your Christian faith is under contention. Satan is pursuing you with everything he can find. When it concerns battle, please don't fight with a lady. Ladies don't know how to fight. They fight with teeth. They fight with pan. They fight with OCC. They fight with Oche. Anything they see, they see like I took you. Men blow like this. They blow like this. <laughs> Any witness here? <laughs> Just. <laughs> That's the woman. Can I shock you? That's how the devil fights. That's how Satan fights. Satan does not fight with a rule. No pattern. He doesn't fight with, with common sense. He, he doesn't fight like a man. That's how our, our Cali, the other caliphate people used to fight. Barbaric fight. If you want fight, come, let's do man to man. Let's set up war. Why will we be sleeping? You carry a knife. Do you understand what I'm saying now? But that's the devil. He said, be sober, be vigilant. For your adversary, the devil, First Peter chapter 5, verse 8, he said, he goeth around, around seeking whom? He's, you know the word whom? It's not every whom that is devourable. So guess what he will use? He will use your mother. If your mother didn't survive, he will use your uncle. He didn't survive. He will try lecture. He didn't survive. He will use inside. He won't survive. He now come inside church. He now come inside church. Do you know that I can be preaching an innocent message I received from God? Somebody say, mm, so you Jaguar pastor. Yeah? Come on, I call you Jaguar pastor. Pastor, when I talk, 
Emeka. Emeka. Two of us. And as simple as this thing, I will leave that your church for you people. You see? Are you seeing what do you see that one? Isolation. I will leave that church for you people. A matter that no church be zogin do give me leave. Go and read your Bible. Pastors are not preachers to you. Pastors are the gift of God to you. I will give you a gift according to my heart. That means if God wants to do a makeup for all you have lost in your family and in destiny, He will give you a pastor. Let me ask you I pastor some of you for three months consecutively. Have you noticed something is being made up? Your conscience is now getting better. Your confidence is getting better. You have not seen Monio, but now you now believe somehow I will make it. You can now wake up in the morning and go and pursue your business. You may not know it is connected to the gospel you hear here. I will give you a pastor according to my heart. So when I check what you are going through, I will look for a pastor that carries what you need for you are going through. You need enough word, enough encouragement, enough motivation, enough acceptance, enough faith to be able to drive to that place. So God will package it in a pastor and a church. I will leave that universe church for you. It's not church you left. You left your life. So Jesus said, this offense must come. Sometimes it's not even, it's not even that pastor preached about you. Sometimes it's just that you heard that they discussed about and they really discussed about you. Nah, if that time comes to your life, go and say, Lord, I've come to that time pastor told us about. Help me. Peter lifted his hand in the water and said, nah, me the up at this man sitting there. There was an upper this man in there. I know when my mom said, Come, and I came. Millionaire. <laughs> you know what he said? He said, Lord, that's how you understand what he was in his heart. Lord, he didn't say, Go help me. Caress down not. Now, mother, now. Learn, listen, listen, look at me. Learn to be sincere with God. God, I can't help myself, please. And I'm. Um, help me and suddenly a strand of faith a strand of keep on a strand of don't get bitter a strand of relax will just start rising from your inner man and then suddenly my my friend here he said something in our camp meeting that touched me say pastor thank you for giving me another privilege to be excited again about god i know what he was saying because some people have become too used to church, they are tired. It's now activity without spirit. He told me that the last prayer camp we have here, he has never prayed like that for the past 15 years. He said, thank you again. The wife was shocked. He said, he started doing fasting and prayer. He will pray from 12 to 6 in the morning. The mother will knock. The father will knock. I said, no, we've been And we're getting a issue. But they don't understand it. But to him, he's now excited. Now he has bounced back to life. Ah, such as the Ego brought the problem. No, Zota, go do yourself. Zota, your confidence. Zota, the hope of eternal life. That if I die now, I die well. The money is the one Bible called all these things. Is Pastor blessing you this morning? Don't tell me yes. Am I yours? I tell me yes, Pastor. See, see your head. Are we together? So I felt excited. He said, Now nah, I can wake up. I am planning evangelism like I did those days. God is making more sense to me. That is why we are here. To translate this thing from a mere religion to a life and experience. I wish I had the time to have preached the gospel I came with this morning. It's, you know, it's a historical thing. It's, a, it's like the same thing they say about Mat, Mat Hama, Gamandi, whatever the names are. And uh, 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 this South African guy, all those stories. Jesus' story transcends that. It's an experience, not a story. You can convert that death and resurrection into a living experience for you. And that's why God brought you to church. Tell your friend, never walk against the covenant. Then tell him, never walk away. Never be careless. Put these three things in order. I will meet you in 2100. Then anytime you are tired, just tell me, Pastor, I just think I need to go and join our elders there. 
will you release me? I've seen a believer who was crying. Please, you people should allow me. Haven't you seen Christian parents like that? Very old. They say, Nam Bolun Kun Lapuzim Kangaba. Because his life is held by either people or by God. You can want to die, and I say you are not dying, and you won't die. Smith Wigglesworth went to program and returned back and met the wife dead and gave her a dirty slap. Come on, wake up there. Are you stupid? I'm not joking. It's a history. Stand up there. Are you mad? The woman woke up. He said, Don't you know I'm hungry? Go and prepare food for me. Why did you die? Without taking my permission. The woman said, I'm sorry. Entered the kitchen. Prepared the husband for and told him, Please, I want to rest. He said, You can now go and rest. He took permission. She died again. Hey. Go and read it. It's in books. It's not, it's not a hidden story. Didn't you hear about? Didn't you hear about? Uh, what's her name? What's the name of her? Archbishop. Archbishop's mother died. He was in US. He said, carry the woman to my bed and lie her down there. She didn't take permission. She didn't tell me she was dying. And she didn't die. They say, if you are with this, your faith thing. You think life is, he said, put her on my bed and leave her there. Four days later, he didn't come back the next day. Four days later, he returned back. The woman was already sleeping. He opened the bed and said, you didn't tell me you were going. Come on, come out there. The woman woke up. Your archbishop here. Death, death is a slave. We don't die. I've met accident four times. Some assaulted, car squeezed, I came out. The road safety shifted when I was coming. I said, dead men don't die. I died yesterday in Christ. <laughs> An affliction will not rise a second time. I've died before. I can't die again. Gunshot can't kill me. No, no, they've caught me knife before. And the knife is called his knife. Mwiruabo. <laughs> They use this, I enter, use this, I enter. They were hitting it on me. My body was jumping like I see there was a pad on my shoulder. I just knew I was padded. There is foam in my body. It's called bulletproof. But they are not visible to your eyes. Optically, there is another spirit. That thing is, oh, Vani Mambai. It's called element. If I enter my element, nothing. Except you meet me outside my cloud. He said, whether they be life or death, all things are yours. Never walk against covenant. Lift up your holy hands. These three things I share to you are actually the junior reasons. What do I call them? The junior reasons why Christians don't die. There's one more I will share with you. Bring this board. First Corinthians chapter five. Let me show you. Let me do from verse 10 of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, please. I just showed you the elementary reasons why Christians die. Let me show you one more. Mm. Verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ that everyone hold on. Who is everyone? I need to ask you, who is everyone? How do you want to identify everyone? The meaning of everyone means that everybody is elementary to the kingdom. It doesn't matter how you came to church, who brought you to church, the teaching that brought you to church, and how you enter church. The moment you identify with the body of Christ and become a Christian, you are an entity and is bound to stand before Christ in judgment. Everyone. Not not just as a team, but as an individual. He said, we must all stand before the judgment of Christ. Go ahead. And everyone we give, receive the things done where? Hello, done where? Done where? That means the moment you die, no prayer takes you to heaven. No prayer changes your reward. They're, even if they carry the whole money you made and now give it to church. As long as it was not done while you were alive, it doesn't count again. Look at that. 
according to that he hath done whether it is good or bad look at his 11 knowing therefore this terror of god that the judgment of christ will not be a fun judgment it will be terrible it will be a serious judgment knowing the terror of god what do we do we persuade men you know what is persuasion persuasion is talking to you in such a way that you lose your argument you lose your unwillingness and you lose your 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 grip on the no we persuade men knowing the terror of god knowing the judgment that is coming we persuade men he said but we are made manifest unto god and i trust also are made manifest in our conscience 12 for we commend not ourselves unto you but give you occasion on behalf okay next one next one for whether we be beside ourselves it is god whether it is uh go ahead 14 now look at where i'm going to verse 14 can we do this again? i want to ready go for the love of christ constraineth us because we judge this way the word thus means we judge this way we thus judge one thread go that if one died for all then we are all dead 15 that's the major thing now one thread go and that he died for all that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves but unto him which died for them and rose again did you hear that now the last reason elders in christ that take note of what i just called now the moment they feed you and feed childishness out of you the moment you grow into god to the full capacity of knowledge the next thing that will kill you if carelessness did not kill you because you have been you have learned now what makes an elder ability to use that time you were a child you want to put your hand in the fire every time your mommy is removing your hand the only way to make a child an elder of fire is to put the hand on the fire he becomes an elder immediately it doesn't need to be 13 years. Just, well, I can Anytime he sees fire, eldership will return on his head. <laughs> I have a dog in my house. I'm using the dog to learn a lot of things. If the team pull here, and it's not where he's supposed to pull, we'll bring him and position his face on the sheets and beat the hell out of him. He'll be crying. Then you now take him to where you should go and shit and beat him again and leave him there and lock him there. Okay? But the problem that my house is too big. We have parlor. In fact, my corridor is more than all the rooms in my house. So the dog is confused. So what he does that if he feels to urinate, he will run out from us and pull and start running. <laughs> he knows, he doesn't know whether we are beating him for pooing or pooing at the wrong place. You know there's a difference between pulling and doing it at the wrong place. So the moment he pulls, he look at us. Or there we enter inside. He will just run and be waiting for who will beat him. So he's taking it, it's taking him time to learn. Do you understand now? So that's the way to make somebody to learn. By teaching, you have now no carelessness skills. You have now know that anti-covenant practice is skill. You have also now known that what again? Isolation kills. It doesn't use basically against God. God, they are not going to isolate here. I'm going to have their church. I will never speak against a church and a man of God. There is no way I will be careless. You can use it against God. So the fourth reason is not what you have used now that you become an elder with God's knowledge. You are using his knowledge against you. The last thing. Is purpose. Do you know the meaning of purpose? Purpose simply means the reason for all things. Do you know what it means? Stand up, young man. Why should you be alive? He said because he wants to be alive. He's shocking. Then God now said, you want to be alive for what? No, if you sit down and understand this thing, it will shock you. 
I want to be alive because I want to feed my children. When Jinedu Mwadike was going to dialysis, he was crying. My children are too small. My children are too small. Did you ever hear him? How many of you follow that story? My children are too small. I don't want to die now. That's a stupid way to ask God to live. It's a stupid way to ask God to live. I'm sorry who I offend, please. No matter how you love the guy. If it is God, don't kill me yet. I have not written that song. I have not sung that song. I have a program. You know the crusade I'm planning. I'm not yet ready to die. I have not given out the best in me. It's an argument to bring. That means you are living for a reason. And until that reason is discovered, life has no right. Can I shock you? You heard me last week say that God does not take a believer until he finds his replacement. That's why Kumi is still alive. True. There are elders that are of age. They have played their role. They have done well. But there is no man that has been able to release faith to come to the capacity to say, I want to take over from him. Everybody in the Christian fold know that Edahosa did not die. He lived on. Do you know why? After his death, if you want to see Edahosa, go down to water somebody drank him like water received this mantle and spirit the man died mantles don't die men of god lives on grace lives on so any child of god who is living for form let me explain it in another way what is the economic benefit of cats do you keep cats I don't like cat people. No, 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 no. I don't understand cat people. You give cat food, you look at it and say, Meow. <laughs> you say cat, how are you? Meow. And then, you know, a cat walks. It's from cat we had cat. We'll just be going like this. I see it's not going. Cat, what are you here for? Meow. So, what is meow? Which is different from dog. The only benefit I know that cat has, the only reason I can say, yes, cat is important, is that rat is messing you up. But if you don't have rat problem, cat is a waste. I don't know why people keep the pet called cat. At least if you see dog, dog can greet you. He will jump up and jump down. The excitement, not cat. No, 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 no. Have you ever seen trees that are in the street everywhere? When they want to be, they say, cut it off. There are trees in this Nigeria, you know. Inside constitution, you don't cut down. They are called economic trees. Otherwise, every tree standing is not for beautification. If we need beautification, we can bring flower, not trees. That's how all of you are standing. Just Odogonoma. Waken EJ. Just in a in a tonawa. And you know the problem. The more you know you see the brain again. Then Adam's apple is coming out. Huh? Then serve food. The way you open the bed and sit down. Well, and, and God will be looking in heaven. God, God will just be thinking. Look at this. Look at this useless man. God will remain in shock. So now, why are you alive? Do you know if all you are here to do is to make money, enter a car? See, some of you will think that car is a problem. You will have car one day. You will know that car. There is no life in a car. Because now, you need Oluwa to give you money for Benz. You don't have a friend in a home here. You don't have places. If you are inside the room looking for the money, you now buy bands and pack it in the house just for packing sake. You now want to move. You just carry it from here to five star and come back. Is that one life? No, 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 no. You just carry the car. In fact, there are some time I enter my car, just be driving around, work with them, then work with them, just can't drive another pressure out of my head. You now ask them, why are you outside? Even you don't know. No. Do you know what you are living? You are living an animal life. The life of a chicken. In fact, let me be sincere with you. Chicken is better than you. 
because people buy chicken as an economic meat. They don't buy man as meat. In work it and get blue gota. Man as some of the food chicken corner on and say there. So I will not waste. Help me say madon kete. Say unkete. That's all you are. Just Bible say. Is it Isaiah chapter 3? He said, he said the daughters of Zion are walking in the street of Jerusalem, walking and mincing. Walking and mincing. That's that's is in your Bible. Walking and mincing. He said, because of it, I will put a scalp on their head. Okay, if you see far, I'm a guy. But on the head. It gets God angry. If they're not to step. Everything is just just. And God said, Hey, the daughters of Zion walking in the street of Zion. No, hey, now can kill go do murder. If you see some girl who dressed to kill, they don't really know what they want to kill for. It's not that they are looking for a guy to have sex with them, just that they want to kill. So if a girl is dressed naked, the real aim in her heart is kind of a good man. In her mind, though, she's not looking at you. Then somebody says, Say, you are not angry. Must you call me? Why did you dress like that? That's an animal life. I say it's an animal life. It's the lesser life to live. So what is the real life? He said we judge this way. That if one died for all. He said that all of us who are alive. Is that Pastor Gentle? Come, excellence. Oh, please make a space for him. Come, 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 come and sit. A great man of God, my friend. Oh, welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That we that are alive, we henceforth not live to ourselves, but to live for him. Let me be sincere. At this your age, you might have not learned how to preach. If you can't preach, hmm, give. There are three people that must be here. There are three people that must be here in the kingdom. That's what we learned in conference. Number one is the preacher. Number two are the workers. Number three are the senders. If your life is not around this thing, it will shock you that the day you will die, you will die as a baby that never lived. As a life that never lived. Who is a preacher? He said, how shall they hear this gospel? Except, how shall they believe? Except they receive it by the gospel. So the only way God gets people born into this life is by the preaching of the gospel. So there should be somebody like me who drops all his ambition, all, not some, to dedicate my whole life to reach out to people's life. Listen, of course, when you hear me teach and talk, you know I was not a daft. And it was not hunger that brought me to this business. Intelligent people like me are the ones in government and the ones in bank. My brain can do anything. If you dare, see, my classmates were afraid of me because I didn't attend classes, but I, I scored higher than all of them. My lecturers feared me. While I was in school, the dean was in honor of me. True. Ask my mom here that I said that. My form mistress calls me her pastor and father. My form mistress, not in SS3, SJS1, till date. One of the most brilliant English teachers in this onitia, her name is Mommy Ire. Mrs. Ire. She, she stands in awe of my presence. I was a human angel as a child. Literally. When I was 12 years, I walk into staff room, all my staff nailed down. You know what is staff room in government school? I in Jama now. We the fear student, but staff room. When you reach staff room, you don't walk past, you jump past. Then you stand up. I enter staff room, they kneel down, Pastor, please lay hands on us. My principal was afraid of me. Seniors enter my class to flog. They say, Hey, Pastor, please out. They send me out and they flog. I come late to school and they are flogging all that they say, Pastor, please, we are sorry, we can't touch you. You are God's anointed. The anointing was obvious. 
one day in excess i was in jazz i entered the SS class to preach sp you know you understand now fear no day eyes now when we went to school now then fear day you see somebody with mustache with red eyes looking at you as a woman even lecturers teachers fear them we went to school in those days when they write on the wall remember prince do jakarta was here obia or axe was here 1997 that was when i was in school do you know someone saying that i walked into the classroom to preach and my seniors were making noise and i was preaching and i wasn't that kind of preacher i wasn't those kind of acm pastors i was operating under a mighty hand of god and i knew as a child i wasn't preaching because i like to preach i was preaching because it was an unction so i preached and the noise was making i say hey all of you in this class listen to me i don't care who you are if you make the next noise i make you dumb now you will not speak again including the sp looked at me js one student with short nigga i said i don't care you try it now if you talk the next time you guy i get you dumb fear all of them their their mouths entered their belly and i preached powerful message after preaching, as I was preaching, teachers were coming and were listening to me. After preaching, as I left, murmuring started. Who, who does that small boy think he is? Eh? Does he think? Now they were murmuring against me. I was passing. They couldn't touch me. That was the. I'm telling you, it was a kind. One time they came to touch me. Bam! They were under the anointing. I used to throw them on the floor as a child. I lift up my hand. Thou power of God, come, move. You want to die? That was the kind of grace I had. I'm not a daft. So that you not think it's hunger that brought me into what I'm doing. Look at me. You, 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 you look at me, man, and the bad. No, 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 no. So there must be somebody here who has dedicated his whole life for the cause of the gospel. Killing all his ambition for God. I've killed mine. My father had seven children, six boys, and one girl. I told him, Daddy, a man that has six boys, if you lose one, he didn't lose one. Five is still there. I am minus one. True. I killed myself in my family. I told them, minus me, because I've been giving up. And I'm not just giving up myself, I am giving myself as the first fruit for the family. If I die, they will not die. So my father told my parents, anytime people are doing auto in this family, minus him. He's not available. He will die for this thing now. And look at the product of death. Except the corner of wheel falls and die. It abides alone. And I'm so glad I made that decision. See, can I shock you? There is no profession that inspires me. Do you know why? I'll be relevant here forever and in the world to come a king. Even being a president is a demotion of who we are. Presidential whatever is by eternal. Eight years is gone. I've been a preacher for 26 years. Speaking with government, speaking with powerful men, sitting among senators. He said the man's life does not consider about, about the abundance of the thing that he possesses. Is what change did you bring? Now there are preachers. Then in the vision God gave to this guy who is a preacher, there are people who are core workers. For instance, the vision to fill this place with people is a burden. And guess what? Sheep is not multiplied by shepherd. Shepherd only feeds sheep to multiply sheep. I'm not supposed to do the work of the ministry. I should prepare you to do ministry. So when you are fully, fully um, st uh, uh, stimulated, that's the word. If I fully stimulate you, the outcome of full stimulation is productivity. The proof you have matured that you can give birth. Your spiritual productive organ become mature to give birth. These are called workers. And I think I have a few of them. Look at this guy. When I talk about people, please don't mind me. Look at Pastor. Look at the other one. Look at Pastor Bright. They are carrying it on their head. The word of my pastor will not fall to the ground. Last week I told them if we are not a particular number, I will not come to this church again. You see how they took their life by the hand. Say, Pastor, see. In fact, he told me, Pastor, if we are less than this number this coming Sunday, let me die. You know who they are? They are workers. They have vowed to themselves that the word of God.
that is in the mouth of a preacher will find value. I just told my sister in the room, I just feel that not. We need to start evening church in Nsubwe. So when I'm done with morning service here, we do evening church in Nsubwe. And who will cause it to happen? Someone say, Pastor, I'll give you the first hundred souls. And souls are in Nsubwe. Are you hearing me now? Pastor says, we need to make this thing work. Do you know that, for instance, I don't know how they put church in order again. Because there are people who are working. Lights are in order. Seats are in order. My job is to give myself totally to the word of God and prayer so that my son that I can deliver the total word of God. Who makes that happen? The workers. But there's another one. The last guy here are called the senders. Did you see my line? Purpose is the reason for all things. And the reason is either to be a preacher or a worker or a sender. He said, how shall they go except they be sent? There are men that their own calling is to shoulder the gospel. Lord, make me a billionaire. And it's not because I want to make news in the village. I may not even build houses in the village. I just build for myself. But I will use the rest of the money to fund the cause of the gospel on the earth. Because we know that we don't go with this money. But we can send the money ahead of them through heavenly union money transfer. You know what is heavenly union money transfer? Give it on the altar. Jesus said, lay not your treasures on earth. Where is earth? Your village. Where is earth? Or nature. You know there are people that keep buying land senselessly. I have an uncle who told the please stop buying land. We, I can't even remember the ones I have. Because what they think life is, this world is not safe. You buy three You go You are 75 years. You go lake. You go Abuja. Go chazi at 90. You didn't enter into the rest. Who are you? He said, Thou fool. What are you going to buy? He said, Your life is required of you. Let us know whom all this thing you acquire for will be for. Guess the person you will leave it for is your son that is smoking you. Is it not me and you, right, that went to prize the land? Is it I and you? express and the son of well known on a chairman he has lands everywhere number one they said oh, no. i was waiting for a responsible person to come i just thought he was like okay they go on a kg it's up to 100. now i asked for another land and they were the 100 mother i call ibo has designed his life and they said that the man has children in on nature, children in Lagos, different women, children in America. So America is squashing America. A, a Nigeria is squashing. Is that life? He said, where rot and mud don't corrupt and where thieves break through. He said, but lay your treasures in heaven. How do you lay it? How many church have you built? Don't die here until you build a church for God and hand it over for a generation to come as a memorial. Can I shock you? A giver bought the gospel over from the Jews to the Gentiles. It was the giving of Ethiopia, you know, that moved the gospel from the east, from Israel to Africa. From that time, the gospel went to the Gentiles. What was it? The angel said, your giving came up as a memorial. We can count on people like you. A eunuch with money looking for God. Come on here. Are we together? Are we together? Cornelius was his name. The real reason for living is, Lord, I want to put my life in line. One of the guests who came to preach for me, he came all the way from Kaduna. And then when he alighted on church, he said, Daddy, please, can you come and see what we are building for God? He came there and was shocked. He said, thank you for bringing me here. He shifted. He said he thought what we were doing was just putting pillar. He shouted. His heart jumped into him. He said, wait. See what you are doing. He went to tell people that this guy, I don't understand him. We are pouring millions inside pillars. Are you hearing me now? And the guy, I don't have any plot of land in my name. The ones I have, I want to give because I have an understanding. If some of you did not have the privilege of going to a back lake, you would think I was mountain. Did you ever go? You would have gone to Ishiake. You are trying to go to Funai. Massive, massive structures and building rising for Jesus. I bought a property in the heart of, of, of Iribiri and I'm looking for who will go. Just 
Tell me I will go out. That's it for Jesus. And that's what my son said. I want to go. I have two plots of land I bought in, 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 in Palm Sites. Laying fallow. And you know what lands mean right now? I bought it. Please, anybody, who will go? Who shall I send? I guess the reason why I'm making it in Igbo lands is that I'm not acting like an Igbo man. An Igbo man has a way he thinks. Apostle Benga told me that I swear to you as a son, I've never seen an Igbo man that acts like you. That all the ones I related with, when you raise money for them, they look for something to put it as business so that this one will be giving me money. He said, you're the only one that is thinking kingdom and church. If you act like an Igbo man, you die like an Igbo man. We don't think kingdom. I don't have any savings anywhere for anything. The only savings I have is that I know one of these days I will be escorted out. I'm trying to compete with people like Jesse Duplantis. People like R.W. Shambach. I want to stand marching with W, what do you call it, Wiggles Words. I want to stand with the Prince of Preacher, Charles Spurgeon. I want to be able to be able to mark my feet with people like Apostle Paul. And then for these things to be done, though I'm the preacher, I'm also a worker and yet a sender. For the past years I've been a pastor, I can lift up my holy hand and say I am the highest sponsor of the vision God gave to me. Because as I release ministry, people bless me personally for my life. I take it and put it into the ministry. Do you know why? I can't separate it. There are people called senders. The guy in the Bible was called Barnabas. He was into land business. So the moment God said this, noting that he buy and sell land to bring to church, God started showing him lands that were appreciated in two months. So he will buy a land, five million. And he returns back. Why they are still signing documents? Somebody says, ah, there's some government will cite a project around his business. And the project, ooh, it's not two months yet. Somebody's planning, like, can you give me 30 million? He will check and check and check. Okay, if I put 30 million, I can go to that place. He will sell. As he's buying this one, God made him a son of consolation. Read it in your Bible, Acts chapter 2. The guy became massive in real estate. If you want angels to become part of your business, start funding the kingdom deliberately. Not by being wooed. Have you noticed since I said I've never done, if you know your head, want to give 20,000, come out. If you don't want to give, give your money. This gospel of the kingdom must be preached. With or without you. No, if you truly love God, since we laid foundation for this church, somebody on his own, not because we sit on the altar, should have asked, Pastor, What's going on in the land? Can I bring 50 bags? That's my contribution. But don't worry, I'm still coming. I will buy this one. I will put the window. Stop waiting for the big time to prove anything to God. Start from where you are. He that is faithful will let you. Give me that mic. Do you understand? How to be big is to start small. Guess what? Today, I can give God a million. I've given God 20 million. I've given it up. I mean, the money I had, I checked my account. It was 20 something million. I gave up the whole money to buy a property for church. And went back home smiling. Nothing King God has scammed me. How could God be a scam? Never have to think it in my mind. <laughs> my friend went to a back leaky and saw my Mercedes Benz. I met my pastor and he had an engine problem. They tried to fix it. Engine aqua. I told them, please, roll that kind to church compound. Wear a blanket. Why I also sleep. What is holding that guy? 650,000 naira chicken money. What I have put in the church there at on the chair is almost going to a million. Only the rod to do the decking. Go and see for yourself. Just to pull rod. The amount is shocking. And yet, a small 650,000 naira to put engine in a car that helps me. I dumped it there. To show you that we are not here for ourselves. And I told them, if you want to fix pastor's car, fine. If this one's point now, zay, mbaba keke. You know the good thing? It is my members that are covering their face. That's what my father told me. My father said, if you people don't want to wash my clothes, I'll be wearing dirty clothes. When you people see your dirty father, you'll be the one covering your face, but the man will be walking on his own. True. I'm trying to paint an idea for you. We are, if his car I want to drive, I will use car and intimidate everybody here. I can drive G-Wagon. Whereas my members are driving Okada. But is that pastoral ministry? No. Do you know what it means to buy an equipment for church? One keyboard, one keyboard now, one keyboard, 700,000. I'm talking about normal ones, 800. This kind of keyboard, I won't call the price. 
So that you not visit church in the night. <laughs> See this mic? Go and price this thing in the market. Original one. This is going to be almost 200,000 now. This tiny thing I'm holding. Yes. That's how costly. This drum now is 370,000. Least. Without Simbas. If you put Simba about 500 something. You know what I'm saying. All of you guys. To be able to. All of these things. Just to be able to communicate that Jesus saves. And we count it worthy to put our wealth here. They are ruling it, but with somebody's wealth adding, dropping as what you call is it down payment? Down line, they receive with the other one. You people that are. It's good to be given 2,000 naira in church, 3,000 naira. But I'm talking about becoming a mover. Pastor, please put a project in my name. Put a project in my name. Can we buy a speaker? Is there any need in church I will serve for God for the first three months? Sometimes do that. Can I tell you the most legal way to do birthday? Every birthday you should be giving your best of offering every birthday. You have to prepare. As soon as that money is coming, you are transferring your money. Say thank you Jesus for another life. Not getting angry with church. I did birthday. They didn't, they didn't put it on status. They didn't even buy me cake. Yet I've been dying in this church. Anyway, I will think again. See all these church people. You did birthday, you should be thanking God. You are angry with God's people because they didn't spend money on you. The moment you begin to be a kingdom person, believe me, sicknesses work out of your life. John D. Rockefeller was told that he would die in three, I think in three months' time. He had the terminal sickness at 50 something years. So he thought about how he was the richest, one of the richest men in America. He thought about how he's going to die like this. Well, the, rich, the first American billionaire. He had a damn signal that they noticed in his body. So they gave him date to die. So he now thought, what am I going to do? He decided to take all his money and divide it into three. All his money. All his money. One, he sent one to find this drug they call penicillin. Sent one to mission. And sent one to either the less privileged. Just divided his wealth and gave it out. And at the process, you know when you take heavy money, you are doing mission work, report was coming from African countries, nations by missionaries. Children were thanking him for finding this solution. And then he was having joy. Oh, I will die well. I will die well. Joy started springing forth. He was watching the power of what he did on earth. Oh, this is wonderful. Hey, this is what I would have been doing now. And why are we alive? After I will die in three months' time. The more he was getting happy, the more he was being healed. He finally died at the age of 96. Death does not kill. People expands our life. Try it. Stand on your feet. Let's pray. Dedicate yourself to Jesus. Ask God to give you a meaningful life. Ask Jesus to give you a meaningful life.